Good evening, Anita, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, let me check if some of your classmates are getting into the class. Let's see. Hello, Fatima. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Excellent. Very good to have you in class. All right, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. Today, we're going to advance quite a lot in section number four. So let's get this business started, right? Did you have fun? Class 11. Let's check. What do we have for today's class? We have the guiding structure for negative, right? You remember the last class we were practicing with affirmative statements in simple past and negative statements also, right? So today we are going to develop a, a lot of information related with simple past, but also we need to see the structures and we need to review the structures that we already learned, right? So let's see. And let me have, let's see. Farima Guardado. Farima, can you please tell me the structure? Me lee la estructura, please, Farima. The structure is subject plus didn't plus verb in present plus complement. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's go with the last one. Remember, keep into consideration. Mantengamos esto en consideración, right? O tengamos en cuenta lo que les voy a transmitir ahorita. Cuando dice verb in simple present, no vamos a cambiar ese verb, all right? Si dice walk, en walk lo voy a dejar. No lo voy a cambiar. ¿Por qué? Porque my auxiliary is going to do the whole job for me, right? El auxiliar va a hacer todo el trabajo por nosotros. O for the sentence. So let's move on. We have the guiding examples. Let's see, Elizabeth Campos, can you please tell me the guiding examples that we have? Boy teacher. <laughs> Don't worry. No se preocupe. Lo que hicimos el jueves. Exactly. Tiene usted sus examples? Sí, I work, work it, no, ¿cómo es? Work, work, I work in a bank, I cook for my son, I didn't work in a bank. All right, there you go, excellent. Thank you, Elizabeth. You're welcome. Let's see. Jose Vega, Jose, can you please tell me these sentences? Just read them. Uh, las tres oraciones que aparecen ahí. Exactly, that's correct. Okay. 
Uh, number one, my sisters didn't talk to my mother yesterday. I didn't walk in the park this morning. Number three, I didn't eat vegetables for lunch. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Now, what about the other ones? Did you create your sentences? Recuerdo que algunos sí participaron en esta part, pero no todos me dieron las sentences. So let's check. What about Maritza Rivera? Maritza, if you want, you can tell me some examples. Si usted desea, me puede decir algunos de los ejemplos que creo. Uh, sorry. Hello, Maritza. Si usted desea, me puede decir algunos de los ejemplos que creó utilizando Simple Pass. Eh, no creé porque no, no, no asistí a esta clase, pero sí hice ya la lección mm. en la plataforma. Excellent. Very good for you. <laughs> Excellent. There you go. So don't, eh, don't worry. You have your examples in the platform. Let's see. What about Miguel Navarro? Miguel. Would you like to tell me some examples from your own? Hello, teacher. Hello there. And my example. Mm -hmm. And I didn't study English last night. Ese es la, el ejemplo que creé en la, en la clase anterior. All right. Excellent. There you go. Do you have one in affirmative or only in negative? Uh, negative. Okay, excellent. There you go. Thank you, sir. All right, everybody. So I hope this by right now, let's hope this topic it's covered. All right. What are we going to do? We are going to practice our pronunciation. All right. Keep into consideration that verbs maybe sometimes are easy to use when you are writing, but these verbs are kind of difficult to use when you are expressing words, when you are talking. So that's why we need to practice, practice, practice the pronunciation of these words, right? In this case, the pronunciation of these verbs. Pronunciation, simple past, ed ending. What are we going to do? We have some resources, right? We have a different resources in the platform. One of those resources are the videos. We're going to make use uh, of some videos to see the pronunciation, to listen to the pronunciation, all right? So let me share with you the PPT, no, the platform. All right, here we go. Nos vamos a la plataforma porque tenemos el recurso de los audios, right? Entonces tenemos que hacer uso de eso. Porque, listen, los verbs in simple past Tal vez no sean tan difíciles de utilizarlos ya cuando los están plasmando gramaticalmente, pero sí se les puede complicar, complicar cuando los están repitiendo, right? O cuando lo hacen verbalmente, which is totally different. So here we go. We're going to listen the pronunciation of this teacher. Primero vamos a utilizar la pronunciación o vamos a escuchar la pronunciación de este docente. And then you will go back with me, Miss Arevalo, and I'm going to pronounce the same verbs so that the third time is going to be all by yourself. All right, let's go. Forms, past verbs. The ED ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t, worked, watched, these verbs end in d, cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in id, invited, visited. In order to understand when we'll have a t, d, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat. Okay, now let's check this up. In this video, let's mainly focus on the pronunciation. Just listen, right? Make sure of listening, right? That's the uh, part that we, did, that we need. So you can practice some of the things that he says, but you don't need to write down anything because then I have all this information on my PPT. 
all right, on the PowerPoint presentation. By now, I just need you to pay attention, listen carefully, and practice on your own. And my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, when you don't have a vibration, depending on the word that you are pronouncing, that's what in this language is called voiceless sound, right? It means that it doesn't have any specific sound, right? Let's continue with this and see the other part. Whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now, when you do get the vibration, it's what they call voice sound, all right? So you only need to make sure which are the words that has the voiceless sound and which are the words that, have, that has voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Land has D sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sound. Take into consideration that we have in this specific part, we have three categories, right? Words that has the ID sound, words that has the T sound, and you gotta make sure to make that sound. And also words that we have with D sound, right? So we need to make sure the difference between them, all right? So thanks to this specific image and this explanation, you will understand how to categorize them, right? These sounds are Voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped. Looked. Washed. Watched. Laughed. Breathed. Kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have voice sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, clean. Offered, damage, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website, bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Okay, guys, so let me ask you, how many of you already finished that uh, activity? ¿Quiénes ya concluyeron con esta actividad, right? Específicamente la de ese video. 
<coughs> Nobody. Pero, ¿cuál, ¿cuál actividad, teacher? ¿Cuál es la actividad de ahí? Yo ya, lo, ya pasé ahí, pero no, no. En este video, en la 4.6, lo que usted va a hacer es que va a hacer una recording, una grabación, en el website que ellos le ponen, que es Bocaru. Este, bueno, no sé si se lo ponen o usted lo busca en Google, pero lo va a encontrar. All right? Y se graba pronunciando estos verbos. Okay? Y luego sube el link. Ah, ah, es de repetir esos verbos y grabarlos. Ah, es que eso es lo que no entendí. Si, si era de grabarlos o, o solamente era practicarlos. No, you need to record them. Ellos quieren que ustedes lo graben para que lo suban. For example, some of them are in here. Como dos personas ya subían en eso, right? Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahora para que les salga esa eh, recording so much better? We're going to practice, right? Let's practice with these things. Let's go back. Eh, ¿Pueden ver la PPT? Yes. 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 Thank you. All right, let's continue. We have the same image. Why? Because you are going to start since the beginning, right? We're going to start for something. We have the ID sound. According to this information, if the verb ends in T or D, of course, you're going to add the ED, right? Estas letras que ustedes ven aquí aparecen aquí, al lado, right? Se refiere a que con esas letras deben terminar las, los verbs, right? Con esas letras terminan los verbs, pero la pronunciation no va a ser esa. Es decir, que aquí no podemos decir helped, no podemos decir look at, no mismo aquí, you said, no, right? The pronunciation is different, so that we need to practice. Listen carefully. La primera vez lo voy a hacer yo todos estos verbs, la segunda vez les toca a ustedes. Si necesitan ayuda, you let me know, okay? So here we go. Wanted, wanted, needed, needed, helped, helped, looked, looked, washed, washed. Take it, taking this, take this information into consideration. Washed is not the same as watched, right? Aquí relajo un poquito yo más la boca para decir washed, mientras que abajo no, soy más eh, fuerte, right? Watched, 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 laughed, laughed, breast, breast, kissed, kissed. Specifically in this one, it's easier, right? Because you only need to imagine that instead of ED, you have T. Específicamente en esta es más fácil porque solo tienen que imaginarse que en vez de tener ED, tienen T, all right? Cuando es speaking, right? Kissed, danced, fixed. Let's go with the cold. No call it. Call it, no. Cold. Cleaned. Offered. Damaged. Loved. Loved, no. Loved. Loved. Used. Used. Followed. Followed. Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Amazed. Amazed. Right? Si alcanzan a escuchar, si se detecta el sonido de la D. All right? So let's go with some of you. Now it's your time to practice. Let's see. Let's get this party started with. Gabriela Chato, please. Tell me the verbs. Si necesita ayuda, eh, Javi, me avisa. All right? Todos. Yes, all of them. Um, Whited. Wanted. Need, wanted. Need, needing. Needed. Mm -hmm. Needed. Um, Health. Looked. Washed. 
what love en esa break no me acuerdo ya break breath breath, breath. breath. Uh -huh. kiss dance fix cold clean offer damage no, no sé esa yeah that okay. one damage <laughs> damage love uses follow enjoys amas am amas enjoyed enjoyed amazed amazed mm -hmm. there you go excellent thank you gabi thanks let's go with let's see veronica esmeralda okay veronica tell me the verbs please Okay, uh, want, need, help, look, watch, wash, land, breath, teeth, dance, and ese sí no recuerdo, teacher. Fixed. Fix. Mm -hmm. Cold. Clean. Offer. Uh, damage. Damaged. Damage. Love. Use. Follow. Enjoy. Amaze. Right? There you go. Excellent. Thank you, Veronica. Very good. Let's go with Felipe Rios. Okay, Felipe, tell me the verbs, please. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Uh, help, look, watch, watch, loud, uh, bread. Breath, no me acuerdo eso. Breast. Breath. Kissed. Danced. Fixed. Um, cold. Cleaned. Uh, of, uh, offered. Eso no me acuerdo. Offered. 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 Ajá. Damaged. Loved. Used. Followed. Enjoy. Uh, uh, Amazed. Amazed. Um, uh, no me acuerdo. Amazed. Amazed. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, Felipe. No me dijo los de ID, but you're good. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Jamie Merlas. Okay, Jamie, tell me the verbs, please. Desde el ID. Yes, exactly. Si necesita ayuda, me avisa, right? Para así no la interrumpo yo. Ok. Want it, need, need it, help, look, wash it, watch it, look it, break it, kiss it, dance it, fix it, call it, Clean, offer it, damage, love it, use it, follow it, enjoy, amazing. All right, repeat after me, Jimmy. Thank you so much. Solo vamos a repetir esto que quizás son los que a todos nos cuestan más, right? Okay. Este. Loved. 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 Uh -huh. Breath. Okay. Breath. Mm -hmm. Kissed. Kissed. There you go. Excellent. Kissed. Kissed. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me see. Let me see.
Ok, let me explain this one. A ver, voy a explicar esto over here. Let me see, let me check. Cuando ustedes ven que tiene el ED es porque ya pasaron a forma pasada, right? Pero cuando nos dicen estas letras, ah, los verbs que terminan con P es porque help termina en P, all right? Cuando ustedes ven en LED es porque ya pasó a la forma pasada, right? Ya pasó al pasado. <ríe> All right, ya cambió. Lo mismo es, for example, keys. La regla gramatical nos dice que si termina en doble S, va a sonar con la T, kissed, right? Y miren, estos verbs son como los más fáciles porque estos son los regular verbs. Después vienen los irregulars, que esos solo son de memorizárselo a fuerza, right? En cambio, estos ustedes los van conociendo y si bien es cierto que con más práctica van a lograr la pronunciation, pero en cuanto al writing, estamos bien, right? Porque el writing es más fácil, solo se reconoce que se le agrega ed. <coughs> Let's continue with somebody else. Let's see Manuel Rosales. Manuel, tell me the verbs. Si necesita ayuda, Manuel, me dice. Ok. Ok. Wait. No es el one, es ID, vea. Wanting. Wanting. Needy. Healthy. Looking. Watch. Watches. Loud. Loud. But, perdón. Loud. Loud. ¿Cómo es? Loud. Loud. Bridge. Kisses, dancing, fix, calling, clean, office. Es, no sé cómo se dice. Damaged. Damaged, loads, used, followed, enjoyed. ¿Cómo es el último? El antepenúltimo. Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Um, amazed. Amazed. Mm -hmm. Excellent. There you go, Manuel. Please repeat after me. Loft. Lot. Breast. Breath. Kissed. Kiff. Danced. Dance. Fixed. Fit. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go with Alba Aguilar. Okay, Albita, tell me the verbs, please. Um, wanted, needed, helped, looked, washed, watched, lauded, <laughs> breathed, kissed, danced, fixed, called, cleaned, Offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Amazed. Excellent. Thank you, Albita. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Let me go with, let's see, Jonathan Cordova. Tell me the verbs, please. Light up, need up, halt up. Looked, watch, watch, lounge, bridge, yes, dance, fix, call, clean, offer, damage, low, use, very well, enjoy, damage. All right, excellent. Thank you, Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay, now let's check this one, right? Eh, traten de ver, I don't know, si van a alcanzar a ver, all right? Vamos a ver esta pronunciación. Breast. Breast. Kissed. Kissed. Danced. Danced. Fixed. Fixed. Vamos a la otra. La de la que solo termina con D es la que quizás puede molestarnos un poquito, ¿right? En la pronunciación. Aquí vamos. Cleaned. Cleaned, offered, offered, damaged, damaged, loved, loved, 
used, used, followed, followed, enjoyed, enjoyed, amazed, amazed. Casi va a sonar un poco funny, right? Gracioso, pero casi parece como si fuéramos a vomitar, right? Amazed, right? Tenemos que inclusive empujar, si, si eso nos facilita, empujar un poquito los hombros, right? Amazed, used, right? Si eso nos ayuda, let's use it. Aquí para aprendernos estos verbs, vamos a hacer uso de todos los recursos que podamos, ¿ok? So let's go with somebody else. Let's see. Lisette Montoya, your turn. Okay, teacher. Uh, wanted, needed, uh, helped, looked, washed, watch, loved, bread, kissed, danced, fixed, cold, clean, offered, damaged, Loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Bravo, excellent. Thank you, Lisette. Very good. Let's see. Uh, what about? Let me check. Miguel Navarro, tell me the verbs, please. Okay. Uh, wanted, needed, helped, looked, watched, watched, logged, bread, kissed, danced, fixed, uh, called it, cleaned it, offered, damaged, loved, used it. Follow it, enjoy it, amaze it. Amazed. Amazing. There you go, excellent sir, thank you. Now, let's recall something before the other ones pass. Miren, aquí en esta nos vamos a entretener un poquito, right? Como ya se dieron cuenta, porque quiero que todos practiquen, o por lo menos la mayoría. Algo que les va a ayudar en esto de la pronunciation es... Olvidarse del ED cuando la pronunciación sabemos que va a terminar en T, right? Para que ustedes puedan decir eh, kissed, olvídense del ED, right? Kissed. Solo imaginen que literal, K, I, S, S, T, kissed. Danced. Fitzed. Especially in this one, fitzed, right? Fitzed. It's going to be so much easier for you trying to remember the verbs in that way, okay? That's if you feel that you need it, right? So let's go with Sonia del Transito, please. Wanted, needed, helps, looked, watched, watched, Loved, breakfast, kissed, danced, fixed, called, uh, clean, clean, or offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. There you go, excellent, Sonia, thank you. Very good. Now, is there somebody else who would like to practice before sending the record? Hay alguien más que quiera practicar antes de que envíen su record para ver si yo les puedo ayudar. Casi, casi igual, <laughs> casi no se, se sabe diferenciar mucho. Fíjese que sí, lo que pasa es que no, está, no estamos todavía acostumbrados a utilizarlo Ajá. así, right? Pero sí tienen diferencia del sonido. Helped. Cold. Uh -huh. Helped. Cold. Para la uh -huh. de 
Ahora, el que termina con D, bueno, todos terminan con D, right? Pero en el sonido de la D, es como que la lengua la dejo adentro de los dientes, right? Atrás de los dientes, cold. Así que la pongo aquí la lengua, right? Por eso les dije, como si fuéramos a vomitar, basically. Right? Sounds funny. Suena gracioso, pero hay cosas que nos ayudan. Por ejemplo, a mí mover los hombros un poquito me ayuda a poder dar el sonido. Uh -huh. right. okay. Excellent. Somebody else? Así que, ¿hay alguien más que quiera practicar antes de que envíen su record? Let's okay. repeat. Washed. Washed. And washed. No sé. This one. Sí. Este va, va a repetir. Excelente. No, está muy bien. Excelente. Here we go. Vamos a ver. Washed. Mire cómo relajo aquí la boca, right? Washed. 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 Uh -huh. Ya para esta me estreso. <laughs> Watched. Watched. Uh -huh. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ok. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Somebody else. Ahorita es un momento, amigos, de brillar, all right? Antes de que envíen la record y se vayan a confundir o algo. Nobody wants to shine. Eh, yo. Excellent. Ok, um, what? Así está bien, ¿verdad? Wanted. Wanted. Uh -huh. uh, needed. Mm, help. Look. Look. Uh, watch. Watch. Uh, watch. Mm, bread. But cute dance field call clean often lot and the love of ah youth for and for Following, following, and uh, enjoyed. Thank you. I'm a saint. No, I made. Uh, I made. Excellent. There you go. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Thank you. All right, everybody. So there you have it. This is the pronunciation for today's class. All right. Hasta ahorita. Ya nos vamos a pasar a otro tema. Killing it. All right. So let's move on. Simple past statements with irregular verbs, right? Let's get into the business. I'm going to jump into the video, the other video, right? Not this one. I'm going to jump into the other video. Please make sure, and let me take out this. Please make sure to listen, all right? Listen as much as you can. Pónganle mucho oído a esta parte, all right? La gramática, las reglas, ya la vamos a ver después en la PPT, pero la pronunciation, en esa quiero que esté un poquito, all right? Let's go. Two forms. Using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing the statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements. Irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, 
which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. Now, if you check that information, it says, he says, or he mentions, right? That there's no a particular grammatical rule to follow. So that's why the purpose of this is learning them, memorizing them, right? And that's it. You need to memorize them because they change the nature form, right? Ellos cambian estos verbos, cambian su forma natural, right? Por ejemplo, si ustedes conocían el do en presente, ya se dieron cuenta que aquí cambia, right? En vez de decir do o dotted, dice did, right? Cambió completamente. A eso es lo que se le conoce irregular verbs. Porque estos verbos cambian su forma in the past tense, right? We're going to check the next information later. Let's continue with the video. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On this chart, you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met. Come, the past is came. Have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. Keep into consideration, guys. Keep into consideration. Tengamos en cuenta que la regla gramatical siempre va a ser la misma, right? In simple past. Aunque sean irregular, o si fueran regular, como los de ED que ya vimos, la regla gramatical siempre va a ser la misma. Subject plus verb in past tense plus complement si es afirmativo, right? Si es negativo, ya vamos a ver. Es la misma que ustedes tienen ya. I did my homework. First, we add the subject I. Then we include the verb in the past tense. Did. Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement. Laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, let's check. We only have one. Okay, so let's see, everybody. Let's go with this one. Let's go back to our PPT. Como les dije al principio, el propósito de ponerles el video es para que ustedes tengan el listening. Luego, yo también hago la misma repetición de los verbs para que sea una segunda vez, right? Y ya la tercera vez van ustedes solos. Although, if you need my help, aunque si ustedes necesitan mi ayuda, me dicen, right? Así no los interrumpo. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10. At 10 a.m. or you didn't get up at 10. He went to the museum, all right? Aquí no es museo o musician, aquí es museum, right, museum. He didn't go to the library. He didn't go to the library. We met 
<coughs> we met our classmates. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. We didn't meet our teacher. Recuerden, si está en present, porque para el auxiliary, ustedes necesitan poner el siguiente verbo en present, right? Y cambian la pronunciation. Meet, met, right? You didn't came home late. No, you came home late. You didn't come home early. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. They didn't have a party. Let's check this up. This is your time to practice. Let me start with Alba Aguilar. Okay, Alvita, tell me the affirmative. And ya le busco a alguien para que nos diga los negatives. Let me see. Okay. Jose Vega, you are negative. Action. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. Excellent. There you go, guys. Thank you so much. Let's go with Dinora Hernandez. Dinora, you are a simple past affirmative. Usted son los affirmative. Y let me see. And Carla Patricia, you are negative. Action. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We meet our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You come home late. You did come home early. They had they didn't have a party. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Very good job. All right, just let me remind you all. Met when you only have one E and it's in past. Met. Meet when you have both E. All right. Let's go with Jancy Jimenez. You are negative and Lisette Montoya, you are affirmative. Action. Um, I did my homework. Hello. Jancy, are you there? If not, Sonia del Transito, you are negative. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a, have a party. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Let's go with Veronica Esmeralda. You are affirmative. And let me look for you. Let me, let me see. Felipe Rios, you are negative. Action. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up and no. 
You didn't get up at uh, 10 o'clock. We went to the museum. He didn't go to the li library. No me acuerdo. Library. 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 We met our classmate. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Let me go with... Mayra Lopez, you are affirmative. And Manuel Rosales, you are negative. Action. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got, you get up at no. You, did, you didn't get out at 10 o'clock. He, as you had, he went to the museum. 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 He didn't go, go to go to uh, the library. We met our classmate. We didn't meet our teacher. You, you come home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. That's correct, guys. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Now, let me see. Um, Ana Gloria, are you there, Anita? Se encuentra ahí, Anita? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Entonces, I did was... my homework. Uh -huh. I didn't do laundry. El negativo, ¿quién es? Usted va a ser afirmativo, yo voy a ser negativo, ¿ok? I did, I did my home report. I didn't do laundry. We meet our classmates. We didn't meet our classmates, our teacher. You were hooked on the noon. You didn't get up at 10. You come home late. You didn't come home early. He went to the music. He didn't, he didn't go to the library. They have a picnic. They didn't have a party. Excellent. Thank you, Anita. Very good. Now, let me see. Elizabeth Campos, usted todavía no ha pasado, right? Not sure. Okay. Elizabeth, usted va a ser affirmative and Miguel Navarro, you are negative. Action. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmate. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. All right, guys. What are we going to do next? We already uh, saw, right, the use of the irregular verbs how do they change 
But for you to have something to compare, I have prepared this, right? It's also in the platform. Do equals did in past. Get up. Los que ven que están en negrito son los de present, right? Ya en rojo están en simple past. Get up equals got up. Got up. Go equals went. Meet equals met. Come equals came. Have equals had, right? In simple past. So let me practice with some of you. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Que como dijo que se definían los en rojo, perdón. Todos o solo uno, Sonia. No todo, o sea, la definición en simple. Ay, no, 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 no capté ahí. En simple past. Los que están en, en, en rojo, ajá. Ok. Eh, these ones, recuerden que el simple past es para las acciones que ya se realizaron, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Si yo aquí digo hago, aquí sería hice, right? Ah, ok. Exactly. That's, okay. then you got, got up, right? Got up es como me levanté. Literal, eso significa, right? Went, fui. Met, conocí. Came, llegué. Eh, had, tuve. And that's it. Let me practice with some of you guys. Let me see. Eh, Manuel Rosales, I'm simple present and you are simple past. Yo voy a ser simple present, usted va a ser simple past. Do. Deep. Get up. Get up. Go. Win. Meet. Meet. Come. Come. Have. Excellent, thank you, sir. Let's go with Maritza Rivera. Maritza, I'm simple past and you are, I don't know, I'm simple present and you are simple past, okay? Do. Did. Get up. Go. Get up. Go. Aquí sería get up. Get up. Get up, All right? Go. Went. Meet. Met. Come. Came. Have. Have. Excellent. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, Maritza. Let's go with Jamie. Jamie, I'm simple present and you are simple past. Do. Did. Get up. Got up. Go. Go up. Meet. When? <laughs> Meet. Met. Come. Came. Have. Have. There you go. Excellent. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. Listen, for tomorrow's class, we're going to check this content. All right. Did you like it? We are going to see how to form some questions in simple past, because the same thing as you practice with simple present, the questions, you will practice the questions in simple past, because they are also important. All right, everybody, that was pretty much it for today's class. It was a pleasure to see you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good bye. Night, bye. 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 bye.